god, I'm so late. I should be at Drift Island already. I've got about an hour to get everything sorted out. Uh, the battery on the Volvo is flat. I have done absolutely nothing to the Volvo. And I mean nothing since the last time I went drifting. I literally came home, parked out there, and the battery has just went flat all by itself. I have no idea how. Maybe I left something on. I need to quickly have a look at this oil leak, see what it is, and then uh, get home to drift land. Oh my god. Hopefully I make it on time. an oil leak, it was a leak from the um, hydraulic handbrake, just a tiny little dribble and I could tell because it removed all the paint around it, so hopefully that's what they saw last time. Now it's sorted, so let's do it. <laughs> so we made it to drift land and uh, my pit crew has also arrived. He's just checking the tyre pressures at the moment, that's Jack. Hello. He's a really good drifter, but he's not bringing his car today, so he's going to have a shot at the Volvo. And hopefully, give me some tips on how to drift properly. The track is covered in snow, um, which is actually quite cool, but... Uh, so we're going to have to go really slow at the start just to help clear the, the snow. Should be interesting, but can't wait to get going. <laughs> Because apparently, uh, one of the other drivers spotted flames coming from it. I was like, yeah, from the exhaust? No, no, not from the exhaust. Apparently from like the whole underside of the bonnet, there's flames licking up when I'm hitting the limiter. Apparently, which is a really annoying because... So I'm just starting to get into it. Like, I'm starting to get into a groove. I can feel it. I'm like one corner away from linking the whole track up, which is like the holy grail of probably a beginner, I guess. But I'm so close to linking the track up then. So yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for. An exhaust leak maybe? I can't see anything, so um, maybe I'm just going to have to invest in a fire extinguisher. I think that's the best solution here. Um, please don't go on fire. I'm just getting into it. Just getting into it now.
that um, let's see, it's all for a moment. I think that summarizes it for today. Guess what? I've been out. Uh, ooh, how many times have I got? I think four, five, six. I can't even remember. Uh, as many times as I could, just kept going round and round, and uh, I haven't crashed a car. I spun off loads of times, uh, had a couple of close calls, but I guess that's all part of it. And uh, main thing is the car's still running, running great. So all in all, it was a great success, and um, gonna drive home now, which is something nobody else is doing. As they all load their cars onto trailers and transporters, and I am one of the only ones who drove here. I think there was another guy in a Lexus who drove here. Anyway, good for you, guy in a Lexus. We're the only ones driving here. Anyway, just wanna say thanks to, uh, big thanks to Jack. Uh, who came along in the morning and gave me some pretty good drifting tips and because of that I've actually improved quite a bit uh, thanks to Gary and Darrell Gary's over there not paying attention but anyway it was great to see you guys as well and uh, yeah I think that's a wrap for today until the next drift session woo car is magnificent. I should maybe tweet it to a wash <laughs>